I am Voltaire and this is the Lair of Voltaire. Welcome to another installment of How to Play. Tonight on How to Play I'm going to teach you how to play my song Brains as it has been one of the most uh, popular requests down in the comments below of the previous videos. Okay. Uh, now before I teach you how to play Brains I want to tell you a little bit about how that song came to be. Uh, several years ago I was performing at a club in Los Angeles called Bar Sinister and a gentleman came up to me afterwards. I swear to you I remember him being eight feet tall and having a shock of white hair and wearing a red zoot suit. <laughs> Although uh, he, he's told me in, in recent history that that's completely inaccurate. All right, what's going on here? But nonetheless, the gentleman's name was Maxwell Adams. And there's the handsome bastard right there. And he said to me, I have a show and I would very much like to commission you to write a song for my show. Now I happen to be in L.A. Well, I'm just shy and scared in this place. I'm just a fish out of water from outer space. So I thought to myself, everyone here thinks they have a show. This is probably a load of hogwash. No! What's happening? Yes, what? Ah! What a word! So I asked him, what's the name of your show? He said it's called Grim and Evil. I said, I've never heard of it. He said, well, it's on Cartoon Network. And I said, oh, really? So when can I watch it? And he said, well, it's actually not on yet. And I thought, ah, oh, <laughs> it's because it doesn't exist. No! Um, God, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> anyway, so I said to him, look, your show's called Grim and Evil. I have a song called When You're Evil. Why don't you just use that? He said, no, I want to commission you to write a song just for the show. So I said to him, look, if you're really serious about this, just email me at Voltaire at Voltaire.net and we can discuss it further. Well, much to my surprise, he did email me. And not only did he email me, he sent me the first four episodes of his show, Grim and Evil, which was in fact going to be on the Cartoon Network. And as you know, it later came to be called The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. So once we actually got cooking, I said to him, well, what would you like this song to be about? He said, in this episode, a meteor lands and crashes on Earth, and Billy finds it. And uh, a monster comes out of the meteor and asks Billy to go and get all the townspeople and bring them so that it could eat their brains. Don't worry, new buddy. I'll get you all sorts of brains. Well, my next question was, how am I being paid for this? And he said, by the minute. It's by the length of the song. So of course I asked him, how long can this song be? And he said, no more than five minutes. To which I replied, this song will be five minutes long, which is why Brains is so bloody long. <laughs> I've got Brains! But anyway, so uh, I subsequently wrote the song and everything that I wrote was animated. So it was really cool because it was kind of like getting someone to make a uh, music video to your song. I wish I had somebody to play with right now. So without further ado, I'm now going to teach you how to play Brains. Okay. First, you have to tune your entire guitar down a full step like I do. So this E string becomes a D string. This E string becomes a D string. And all the ones in between are a full step down. Incidentally, all of my songs are that way. All of them. Uh, and this is another one of my E minor, A minor, B7 songs. I write a lot of songs that are in those three chords. So the only chords you need to know in order to be able to play brains are E minor. And this is what that looks like. A minor. This is where you put your little fingers for that one and B7. This is a weeping chord, a chord that makes you weep. And here we go. We'll start out with the intro. There's various little segments in Brains, but once you know each part, you can play the song indefinitely. So we'll start out with the intro. It goes... Oh, 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 oh. slow motion that's E minor B7 E 
minor, A minor, B7. E minor, B7. E minor, A minor, B7. So again, it goes like this. Oh, 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 oh. And that brings us into the sort of little vamping part that happens a lot throughout the song. For those parts, just stay on the E minor. And now we're into a verse. Well, hello, little boy. Don't be shy. Step right up on a reasonable guy. Don't be frightened by the look in my eye. I'm just your average evil meteor from out of the sky. So, taking it in slow motion. Well, hello, the little boy. Don't be shy. Step right up. I'm a reasonable guy. Don't be frightened by the look in my eye. I'm just your average evil meteor from out of the sky. And that's true for all of the verses. Well, I'm just shy, scared of this place. A fish shadow water from out of space. You can see that the trip has left me tired and drained. So why don't you be a pal and bring me some brains? So that brings us to a chorus, which goes, Brains, brains, I won't lie. I'll eat the brains till the song goes by. Should they might think it's the rain, they will give it a thought to repeat their brains. Brains, brains, it's okay. It's not a matter if it isn't gray. And if at first they think it's strange, they won't think twice if they don't have a brain. So it's E minor, E minor, A minor, B7. I'll eat the brains till the zone of five. E minor, A minor, B7 again. And if at first they think it's strange, they won't. Think twice if they don't have a brain. So that's A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, B seventh, B seventh, E minor. I hope, I think it's easy, but it, it's starting to sound more and more complicated the more I try to uh, describe it. Hey, what you trying to do? Suck my brains out? Right up, I'm a reasonable guy. Don't be frightened by the look in my eye. I'm just your average evil meteor from out of the sky. Well, I'm just shy and scared of this place. A fish out of water from out of space. You can see that the trip's left me tired and drained. So why don't you be a pal and bring me some brains? To repeat in their brains, 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 it's okay. It's not a matter if it isn't gray. And if at first they think it's strange, they won't think twice if they don't have a brain. There's a little instrumental part that happens uh, between the verses and the choruses. Uh, it's like a little uh, vamp part, if you will. It goes like this. And that's E minor, A minor, B7. E minor, A minor, B7.
course, there's the breakdown in the middle, which is really super easy because that just stays on the E minor the whole time. It goes like this. Brains, brains, I love them, I need them. My tummy chumps, the chore when I eat them. Big ones, fat ones, short ones, tall ones. So delectable, especially the small ones. No time, I cook them in a skillet. My belly's rumbling, I gotta need to fill it. I don't fry them, the heat alone trick them. I just grab myself a straw and I drink them. So that entire time I was on the E minor. But that goes, I think, into an instrumental. That's pretty much all you need to know to be able to play the song Brains. You just take those few components and you put them together wherever uh, applicable and you will be able to play the entire song. Now, unfortunately, there is one piece of bad news about the song Brains and it has everything to do with one of these. This is a tuner. You should get yourself a tuner so that when you tune your string to D, it really is a true D. Well, now, as it, you've already probably discovered from some of my earlier How to Play videos, I am an idiot savant of guitar playing. I really kind of muddle my way through. And I didn't tune my guitar when I recorded the song Brains. And subsequently, everybody else who came in to record after me tuned to whatever irrelevant D I was playing to at the time. So you can't play along with brains on the album because it's not really a true D minor that I'm playing in that song. It's like half a step down or a quarter of a step down or something. So my apologies for that. I'm sorry. Go play in traffic. Uh, but in the future, I will always use one of these and I highly suggest you get a tuner as well. Okay! I hope you have enjoyed learning how to play Brains and I will see you again here on the Lair of Voltaire for how to play. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of the Lair of Voltaire. If you liked the video, well hell, hit the like button on the lower right. And please hit the subscribe button on the upper left hand corner as there will be many many more of these and I'd hate for you to miss them. If there's a song you'd like to learn, please leave it in the comments section below and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching The Lair of Voltaire.